Hi everyone, I'm here at the Ottawa Food Bank Community Harvest Farm and today we're talking about food insecurity in our city. In a prosperous and vibrant city like Ottawa, the idea of having many of our residents who don't have consistent, reliable and safe, nutritious food seems impossible. Yet, according to Ottawa Public Health, one in seven of our households in Ottawa, many families, are food insecure. The good news is that it is an issue that can be addressed. Today I explore two of Ottawa's many programs where volunteers like you and I are helping to improve food security for ourselves and our neighbours. Hi, I'm Jason Garlow. I'm a co-founder of Hidden Harvest Ottawa. For us at Hidden Harvest, we like thinking about food sovereignty. Food sovereignty is really the movement or the process of changing food insecurity. So Hidden Harvest Ottawa is a project of Make Way, and that's a charitable organization. And we're groups of volunteers that really want to pick, share, and take good care of the food bearing trees that are here in our city. I have a service berry tree behind me here. Here is an Asian pear tree. The one behind me is a Turkish hazelnut. There's so many food bearing trees here in Ottawa. It's incredible. When we started, we thought we'd find, you know, a few hundred. There are not a few thousand. There are tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of food bearing trees here in the city. Oof, there we go. So what Hidden Harvest does is we organize groups of volunteers to go out to these trees and pick and share the bounty. So the first quarter goes to the nearest food bank. The next bunch of fruit would go to the volunteers and they'd share it. We leave a quarter with the homeowner as well. A lot of our homeowners are elderly and don't have the ability or mobility to be harvesting all this fruit, uh, but they do still love to make jams and jellies and cook with it. Then the final quarter would come back to Hidden Harvest and we work with a lot of the food processors. There's, there's some breweries uh, that we work with and uh, a lot of other food processors in the city and they'll use that and make good use of that fruit. So there's different ways to volunteer. You could volunteer your tree, so volunteer the bounty. If you have a big apple tree or a service berry tree that you just can't get all the service berries off of, uh, you can register on our website with that tree. The second way is by becoming a neighborhood leader. So we're really in need of leaders to lead these harvest events, to communicate with the homeowners, to organize the groups of volunteers, to learn how to harvest, to properly harvest these trees safely and efficiently. You could also register as a volunteer and that just means uh, letting us know what areas of the city, one or two areas of the city where you'd like to harvest. And if you'd like to get involved, you can visit our website. It's uh, ottawa.hiddenharvest.ca. Hi, uh, my name is Jason Gray. I'm the Community Harvest Manager for the Ottawa Food Bank. We have four staff here and volunteers help us to run the farm. So I have a background in agricultural sciences. I have a, a passion for agriculture first and foremost. The fact that I'm able to use my knowledge for a public good just makes it that much better. As of 2012, we transitioned our, our entire operation here to the Black Family Farm. They've been donating the use of this field to us since that time, so this is now our 11th season. We are growing crops on six and a half acres and the rest uh, we use to cover crop as part of our rotation. In that amount of acreage, we grew 167,000 pounds of produce. The Food Bank has recently started a program called uh, the Global Marketplace. And so through that, the information and data gathering that we've been getting from member agencies across the city, we're getting more granular information as to what we should be planting. So we grow roughly 22 crops on this site and we distribute on an annual basis, roughly a million to a million and a half pounds of just fruits and vegetables. So in any given season, the farm itself can be accounting for anywhere between 15 to 20% of the annual distribution of the food bank itself. We always need help. Volunteers help us with planting, weeding, putting out netting. We don't use any pesticides, herbicides or fungicides on the farm, so it's a very safe place for volunteers to work. They help with harvesting, boxing, washing, all of the processes on the farm through the season. Not only is it important for the people that you're helping in the community, but you're gonna learn new skills. You're gonna have an excellent time because you're gonna meet new people that are, you're volunteering with, uh, and, and you're just gonna have a, that sense that you're giving back to your community and that provides a lot of uh, pride in the work that you'll be doing. The Ottawa Community 
Harvest program from the Ottawa Food Bank and Hidden Harvest are two of many programs, organizations and individuals working to improve food security here in our city. Through these many different initiatives, we can build a stronger local food system and ensure more food secure future for Ottawa. How are you supporting food security in Ottawa? Let me know in the comments below.